Hello everyone, here it is on day 11 and this is my daily update. Uh, I've made it to a full 10 days, so I've done 10 days of the juice fast and doing very well and still actually hanging in there. Um, I lost 0.7 of a kilogram overnight, which is about 1.5 pounds, bringing up, uh, bringing to, to a total of uh, 7 kilograms, which is about 15.5 pounds total weight loss um, since I started. So everything's pretty well on track. Um, I've still got moments where I'm thinking, I'd like to exit, but uh, what I'm noticing is that they are fewer and far between. Uh, last night, as an example, the family was sitting down to some scrambled eggs, and there was a brief thought, because I decided to, well, I was there when they were having it, basically, and there was a brief thought that would be nice, but that then very quickly went away. So I had a lot less juice yesterday, and I noticed I wasn't hungry, then uh, it's, it's almost like I'm a bit more in control of my hunger, and it's more manageable. <clears throat> if you've been addicted to food as I have been, or addicted to bad foods as I have been in the past, you probably remember um, the feeling that you feel you're outside, you're out of control and you're really addicted. Um, and you just can't stop yourself eating and you're hungry all the time and you have to act on that impulse of hunger. What I'm finding now is that uh, I can still get hungry. The hunger isn't as strong and it's a little bit more of a distant type thing and it's more manageable. And I can sort of say to myself, no, I'm not really that hungry. Whereas I felt it was almost impossible to resist that in the past. So this uh, detox diet plan, as I call it, is actually working, even though I don't like the word um, diet, because it is doing two things. Detoxifying all the bad stuff, and it's obviously helping me to lose weight as well. So it's a win-win, and it's just giving me more of, a, more of a feeling of being in control, which is fantastic. And the really funny thing is... Uh, uh, I saw some ads the other day on TV. Uh, actually, I was watching a show called Man Vs. Food. If you haven't actually seen that show, I suggest you uh, Google it or go to YouTube and have a look at YouTube and have a look at it. Uh, it's actually a guy who takes on food challenges. So he goes around America trying to find the uh, the places that have got the mo uh, sorry the you know the biggest burgers or the largest steaks and so forth. And he tries to give himself a goal of uh, of eating the biggest thing that they've got on their menu and uh, you know winning a prize or something. And getting his name up in glory. Now it's actually done ton in cheek, and I actually like the presenter Adam. He's really quite funny, and very you know very quirky, and uh, and does a great job presenting it. Um, but the point is, they show lots of really greasy, unhealthy type food. So I was watching that yesterday, yesterday or the day before, I think it was, and I noticed that uh, even though I was looking at that food, I expected to think, wow, that would be nice to eat because they you know, show close ups of the food, and it can be anything from you know steaks or you know sweets, ice creams, and so forth. I felt nothing. I didn't feel the need to, uh, you know, that, to eat that food. Whereas in the past, that would have sent off, you know, big bells. Quick, 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 go and eat something. So again, the point I'm making here is that I'm just feeling more in control. And, uh, you know, every day I'm feeling that it's going to be more likely that I'm going to make it through to this 56 days. That is still my goal, to get there uh, to 56 days or once I hit 32 kilograms of weight loss to stop. Incidentally, uh, once I get to 8 kilograms, just another 1 kilograms, I'll actually be 25% of my way there. Now that, to me, is pretty inspiring. Looking forward to getting those results on the board and getting uh, just continuing the process. So overall, I don't think there's uh, much else to report. Everything is on track. I'm still feeling good, uh, feeling in control, and let's see how I go tomorrow. So I'll leave that there for now and talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.